the smartphone chip war is heating up again, and this time there's a twist that nobody saw coming. While TSMC continues to lead the industry with its advanced 3 nanometer process, known as N3P, something unexpected is quietly happening behind the scenes. TSMC has already secured the next big wave of flagship chipsets. Qualcomm's Snapdragon 8 Elite 2, MediaTek's Dimensity 9500, and even Apple's A18 Pro will all be built using TSMC's 3 nanometer technology. But here's where things get interesting. Qualcomm isn't putting all its eggs in one basket. Behind the scenes, it's testing an alternative version of its most powerful chip, the Snapdragon 8 Elite 2, built not by TSMC, but by Samsung, using a brand new 2 nanometer process called SF2. According to insider leaks, Samsung has already fabricated a small batch of these new chips. Internally, they're being called SM8850s. These chips are Qualcomm's silent entry into the next generation of semiconductors. Why does this matter? Because Samsung's SF2 node isn't just newer, it's better. It promises up to 12% better performance and 25% better energy efficiency compared to its last generation process. And there's something else that makes it even more attractive, it's cheaper. That's right, the Snapdragon 8 Elite 2 chips made by Samsung reportedly cost less to package than the same chip made by TSMC. If true, this could seriously disrupt the foundry landscape. But there's a catch. Despite its technical advantages, the SM8850's chip remains in limbo. No smartphone maker has agreed to use it yet. No OEM, no Samsung, no Xiaomi, no OnePlus, no one has committed to putting it into an actual product. And because of that, mass production may not happen until next year. So for now, Qualcomm's main Snapdragon 8 Elite 2 chip, known simply as SM8850, is still firmly tied to TSMC's 3 nanometer process. What about comparisons? Sources say the SM8850's chip built on Samsung's 2 nanometer process is better than Qualcomm's recently released SM8845. It sits in a higher tier, with slightly improved performance. But without real-world devices to prove it, and without OEMs adopting it, its future remains uncertain. Still, this move is a bold signal from both Qualcomm and Samsung. Samsung isn't just testing the waters with 2 nanometers, it's diving in. The company's long-term roadmap for 2 nanometer chips includes several variations, SF2P, SF2X, SF2Z, and SF2A. And it all starts with SF2, which enters mass production this year. This means Samsung is serious about becoming a major player in the ultra-advanced chip race, and Qualcomm may be looking for a way to lessen its dependence on TSMC. Will this experiment pay off? Will Qualcomm really adopt Samsung's 2 nanometer process for future flagships? Will any major phone brands take the risk? Right now, no one knows. But one thing is for sure, the SM8850s is a wild card and wildcards have a way of turning the whole game upside down. This is a story still in motion, one that could shape the next generation of smartphones, and the next battle in the chip war is already on the horizon. Stay tuned.